simulating now, and I'm going to show you the, the beginning practice of what we do. So, the drill is bring all the rack, everything on the rack, depending on what size the piece is, how small it is, and it goes on rack on the truck. And from here, what happens is the blade is taken from here. This is an ultrasonic. Basically what it does, it sends ultrasonic waves through the solution, like, as it turns around, and it'll make noise. You can actually see the solution vibrating like that. And what that does, it's actually vibrating all the dirt off the wood. We would go in here, it just depends on what it is. How many times you're going to go in, how long we have to stay in here. We'll rinse it off into a rinse. And we'll let it drain. Now, over here, this is called electric cleanup. Basically what it's doing is sending electricity through the bar. When you go on here, you'll see it start to react. Now that's cleaning it. Now I'm, I'm just going through very quickly on what we have here, otherwise it takes just too long. I will rinse it again. Now, what we do at American Plating is we make sure that no matter what it is, one piece, a thousand pieces, they all have to get rinsed. Rinsing means a lot. You've got to get whatever you go in off before the next platform. Now, we'll rinse it again. I mean, sometimes you'll be in here, you can rinse 30, 40 times a piece every time you go in. We drain off everything. Now we're going to go into an acid. Now this is a diluted acid, it's not strictly, so if by any chance, if I wanted to go in here with my hand, I could, but I won't. The acid actually neutralizes the cleaner and the soap takes it off. Then we would rinse it. Then we go through a drag up. And everything in here goes back into the acid. Then we would rinse it into another water. Now when you're cleaning, you have to make sure that there's no water breaks on this, on any of the work. So what you do is you look at it, it's, it's like when you uh, when you take your car and you, and you polish it, and, uh, and when you're washing it, all of a sudden you're washing it, right, you see all little beads, right, it's not clean. <laughs> so what you gotta do is you gotta clean that. So after you polish your car and wash it, now you see the water just go right off the car Nice and smooth, you don't see no beating up at all. Now it's nice and clean. Now what we would do is we'd go actually into a, a copper flask. Now this is cyanide copper. Now you'll see it, what the color is now, and watch after a few seconds. you come up, and voila, it's a miracle. <laughs> now, of course, we're letting it drain. I mean, it's, it's still fascinating for me, after all these years, how you can go into a solution and it just, poof, it changes color right in front of you. Now I'm going to another act. Now I'm killing, what, what I mean by killing is, I'm not killing the feet. I'm actually cleaning whatever down there or any type of uh, cyanide, whatever that is, the, the acid is going to actually kill the cyanide before I go to my next project. Now I'm going to drag out again. Now you see how many times this one rag was rinsed. Now this line is constantly moving all day long, all day. And these guys, they're going up and down. They got racks with both hands going up and down. So it's not a process that you can go bing, 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 and get it done. It's not like that. So when you, when a customer said to me, can't you go dip it here and dip it there and get rid of it? No, you can't. There's really a lot about it. 